to a new video today. We are playing F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, episode number 8 today for the Hungarian Grand Prix. And yeah. So we start from P19 on the grid after winning the last race. But um, yeah, let's go into the race then. Maybe we can carry over that momentum from last race into this race weekend, but by the looks of qualifying, we uh, didn't really bring that in. We also um, brought in a few upgrades for that last race, I forgot to tell you, and we've also got a few upgrades for this race, so maybe we'll be a bit more, a bit more uh, less on the back foot, and maybe we can, you know, work our way back up the grid. But let's get into the race. It's going to take a while. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of the Formula One World Championship. We don't expect too many retirements at this track. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher. He made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile of the with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Anthony Davison joins me once again at the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. That you don't have them means that you don't care anymore and of course you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity off the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race max verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position and it's valtteri bottas that completes the front row looking at the rest of today's grid we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Alexander Albon, and Vettel, Ricardo, Sainz, Perez, and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Norris, Kevin Magnussen, and Kvyat, Gasly, Russell, Kimi Raikkonen, and Roberts, Latifi, Ireland, Grosjean, they've taken a grid penalty, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So as you saw in the grid sequence, um, there was a few um, grid penalties which put pushes us up into P18. Last race. Let's aim to keep the go. And of course we are going to be editing this strategy and we are going to end the race on the um, on the softs as usual and then um, we're going to start in mediums. The tyre wear around here is quite high so we do need to be careful on how much we do go for. That is going to as we as our pit window opens on lap 11 but yeah let's let's head into the race then so here we go then to five red lights to the hungarian grand prix in season one this lights out the way we go it's not a bad start we we um that, as we bow around then to turn off the first time, Brody, Brody overtaken um, right and then we make contact on mistake with, with the one the aft I think that was Ga yeah, Gasly. And we don't get a very good exit off the first corner as we drop down back down to P19. As down into turn two, then we go for the first time. 
side by side with Russell and the Williams. Push that out wide and it's man he spins out. Russell that that was that was my fault to be fair. And we go for a dive bomb down on the inside of the teeth, we go into the um, going to the chicane. We go down the inside of Reichenen as well. So we make our way back up into P16. P16. Of course, there will be a pre season video, of course, of, of the new livery. I've already got my livery in, in mind of what I want for next year, season. As on the exit of the front column, one as Darren's turn one for the second time, and as we start lap two, we go for a dive bomb on Gassi, and we do try and go down the inside of the Via, but we we get tanked up on the exit, and we and we now we're under pressure now by Raikkonen, and we will really span out as well. Sorry for restart the session. I just didn't get a very good lap on it. Let's quickly restart. Down here we go. And we go for five red lights for the second time. And it's lights out and away we go then. And what and the um top different one go down to turn one is what's it? Wide and we take a massive, massive spree of overtakes going down to turn on there. And we're, and we're going to take stroll here. And we go around the outside of signs. Gosh, we've kick, kicked up the uh, boost on this lap, hey? <laughs> and it's too wide. It's 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 too wide up ahead between our one and metal, and we and we make contact with Perez and. The, and around we go, almost, but lag back. Round turn three, then we go. As we, as we're looking on going around the outside of Sergio Perez, then going into um, into turn four. We go around turn five, and down the inside of Ricardo. We've gone from P19 up into P into. Around the outside of our one, and we're side by side then with Perez on the exit of uh, the chicane. Through turn 10 and 11, then. It seems to be that our one is finally fi finding kids groove in this, in this, in this season. It's a bit too late there now, but. Then up goes to the car really is helping again just like last race. He's down his turn on them go and we overshoot the corner and we accidentally hit our one.
I wasn't meant to click that button, I was meant to click the uh, flashback button. Session. That's gonna be amazing. 
need to blow for his championship fight. And we almost lose control now on the exit, and we do, unfortunately. I do want to know what's happening there with Hamilton. That's, that's going to be a major knockout blow in his race and championship. As you see, we're also catching up to Albon quite a bit. And the pit window has opened now for the uh, leaders. We will take the lead of this race until, until later on in this race. This is going to be really ideal. As we'll be out in clear air.
look at the tyre wear so far. The one that's taking the beating the most is the um, front left at 30%. For the back tyres, um, the lowest is 18 on the uh, right left. No, the uh, rear ones.
told you we could capture them and look at what we've done, we've caught them off. We're gonna go down the inside into turn two. We make moves stick, but can we? But can we make it stick? He, he tries to do switch back on me, but we keep the position, luckily. And it looks like it's gonna be P4 in this race as long as we can keep a nice, nice, um, nice speed going around the circuit. Then we will be able to keep this position. We're on pretty worn tire wear, and Sebastian's on very, very hot. Worn them hard. It's going to be one to the line then between us three. But Bottas wins this this race in particular. And he might win the title because of Hamilton's DNF today. But we're about to come across the line in a very good P4 then. Not bad, not bad. I think I have to be 
ないの So that was the kind of result that we needed going into next season, of course. But yeah, thank. Just, I'm really happy about that result, of course. But we did get a better result in Silverstone, which you know, I'm not a very good qualifier, but I do the best. I do the work on the Sunday. I do, to be fair. again um yeah yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys